Good morning, everybody. We are going to do a lesson today based on the art of Pete Mondrian and another favorite artist of mine named Paul Clay. These are going to be sort of abstract uh, paintings and we're going to use materials that you have around the house. Remember, one of my other videos shows how to make a pizza box canvas. So check that one out to do this. This is um, painted a little bit with watered down acrylics, just very loosely to give it a nice background. And now we're gonna get started on the next step. Now, the next step is we're going to use masking tape to mask some geometric shapes. I'm just going to make some random decisions on where to put it. Okay, I'll go ahead and work on this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my background all taped up. This is lined up very much the way a Mondrian painting would be. Now, if I was Mondrian, I would only be using primary colors. He loved red, yellow, and blue, and often had a lot of white and black in his paintings as well. But again, I'm going to do something that is based also on the work of Paul Clay, who loved to do geometric uh, paintings as well. His were done more of a freehand style. Mondrian was definitely masked with masking tape, which this is. You'll notice that I've used a little bit of blue painter's tape, and then I have some really skinny tape. Um, masking tape is not very expensive. You can just get it at the hardware store um, or Walmart or something like that. So here we go. All right, so here we go. I want some of these backgrounds to show through. So I'm not going to paint every single square or rectangle. Okay, so this is the fun part, taking the tape off. Okay, so the tape is all off. You can see that a lot of the paint slipped underneath the tape. Because I'm being inspired by two artists, I am not being super precise like Pete Mondrian would be. If I was Pete Mondrian, I would make sure the paint was very thick and would be very careful not to let any of the edges get raggedy by letting the paint under the tape. Also, I would have made sure the tape is super tight. Um, but remember, this is inspired also by Paul Clay, who was not so precise, and a lot of his geometric pieces were done without any rulers or tape. They were just sort of freehand. So I'm going to let this dry completely and we're going to add another step to it. We'll be back soon. I've taken all the tape off and I think I'm going to put one more round of tape on just to get 
a little more interest and details and some overlapping of color and I will be right back. So I have this all taped up and ready to go. I'm going to put another layer of paint in sort of the central area and on the right. But before I do that, I want to show the difference of using thicker paint and more precision. I have another painting over here I wanna show you. So this painting was done much differently. Um, when I painted this one, I used a lot thicker paint. Uh, I used very high quality paint. And it's not absolutely perfect when you look really closely, but it definitely is very tight. Um, the paintings over here were done similarly with lots of masking and the circles also. Even when you use masking, it sometimes sneaks underneath and you have to go back and forth, back and forth to try to get those edges really crisp. So it's very time consuming, but it's a lot of fun. It's very satisfying. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start painting a little bit more. I'm not gonna do the whole canvas. I'm just going to do some select sections. Okay, so there we have it. There's another added layer of squares and rectangles. I'm gonna go towards Paul Clay's work now. A lot of times in his pieces, they're sort of loosely like a landscape or um, a neighborhood or a city, but very abstract. So I'm just going to use my tape roll and add a little bit of white paint here the reason I'm doing the white paint is so that I can put some opaque yellow on top of it and there won't be a lot of uh, paint showing through. So I'm going to give this a little coat, let it dry, we'll be right back.
So all art is influenced by culture, history, everything that's going on around us. And every artist to some extent is influenced by other artists. This piece is definitely inspired by Paul Clay and um, Pete Mondrian, but there's a little bit of myself in it. And any piece of art that you do, it's the same thing. So try new things, um, experiment, do all kinds of artwork, put a little bit of your own ideas in. I went in and I added a little bit of gel pen and some lines to define the areas. Um, lots of fluorescent paint, lots of textures, layer upon layer. But the idea behind this painting is just play around, use the materials you have in your home, especially at this time when we're all kind of stuck in or close to home and maybe don't want to spend a lot of money. Use cereal boxes and pizza boxes as canvases and just play. You'll learn so much by playing.